Lesson 14. Congratulations. We're going to have a lot of time to work on your problem set. Get free problem sets. All right, we're doing, uh, um, here's, get ready to, for your mind to be blown. Okay? So part plus part equals whole. <laughs> I'm totally serious. <laughs> okay, so if you um, had pizza last night, let's say Kiara and Daniel split a pizza. Kiara had um, three eighths of the pizza because she's small and dainty. I don't know, is that a word? Dainty? And then Daniel, who is a growing boy, how much. What fraction of the pizza did Daniel have? If Kiara had three eighths, what did Daniel have? Yes, five eighths. So it's cool for you to know fractions, but you need to know this concept, whatever's left. So if Kiara was really hungry and she ate 51% of the pizza, what percent did Daniel eat? 49 percent right so remember percentage is fractions so 51 hundredths so if kiara ate 51 hundredths of the pizza wouldn't that be cute if there was like pizzas cut into 100 pieces it wouldn't taste as good it would be like biting your fingernails each time you have to get a big piece of pizza for it to taste yeah, yeah. So it, it tastes better when it's bigger. Sorry. That's the science. Okay, so you just need to know what's left. That's always good. Okay, so um, let's see here. Let's cut this pizza into thirds. So I want to know one third plus X equals big one. What does big one mean? The whole thing, okay? So what do you add to one third to get the whole thing? Grace. Two thirds. Two thirds. Okay. Good. So, and it's also a missing number in a, uh, this is a missing number in an addition problem. How do you find the missing add end in an addition problem? <laughs> you subtract, right? So one <laughs> minus one third. Well, this is kind of overcomplicating it because you kind of know, you know the what's left thing, right? You guys are. What are you even thinking or talking about right now? They're being weird. Little, little funny things. <laughs> Obviously, so funny that you have to laugh. Starting and from <laughs> I don't know. But so we obviously can't subtract zero thirds minus one third, so we borrow, right? So we're borrowing one, so one is just three thirds, so three thirds minus one third is two thirds. It seems like we overcomplicated it when we did that, right? Yes. The easier way to do it is to figure out what's left. So one out of three, if one out of three is shaded, that means two out of three are not, okay? So if three out of, um, three out of 10 students are dudes, then how many are girls? What fraction? You're just subtracting, right. So you know the bottom number is the total. So just subtract the top number from the bottom number to get the rest, what's left, okay? You guys feel okay about that? Yeah. All right, let's, one more and then we're done. Okay, 61% plus X equals one. Or what's another, what's, what does one mean in percent language? 100%. 100%. So what's the answer? Um, 39. 39. Okay, good. So 39%. But you could do the same thing. What's one in thirds language? How many thirds is one whole? Three. Three, three thirds. thirds. So three thirds minus one third is two thirds. Okay? That's it. That's all I got. Sweet. Okay. Nice. Boom.